see what, uh, how you look at it and uh, what are the options we have? Look, first of all, let me just say that we are dealing with an Eastern neighbor that is now beyond doubt a habitual sponsor of state terrorism. Uh, I think I, I want to register this again and again because, you know, for too long, I think the conversation has been misconstrued, especially in the West, as one country talking about a democracy and secular and this and that and painting Pakistan with the wrong brush. Uh, and what we are finding now is, is again and again, again and again, we've been saying this for years, but unflinching evidence that India is trying to undermine and subvert Pakistan in every possible way it can. And yes, you're right, killing innocent civilians. And as of yesterday, as you saw, targeting the pillars of Pakistan's economy. So the world must understand what we are dealing with here. This is not two adversarial countries, um, you know, who are going after each other. This is one country that created an image for itself of being very tolerant and Bollywood and secular and whatever, who in the last month has had a serious embarrassment at the hands of one bigger neighbor. A smaller neighbor has taken them on, put out a map which shows the real old historical geography. No response from India possible. This is a country that dealt with Pakistan last year, and you remember what happened at Balakot. This is a country that told the world, not Pakistan, but the world publicly before the 5th of August 2019 that we are moving thousands 